live. Bonjour, San Bonani, Molweni, Dumelang. My name is Pilani Bubo, all the way from South Africa. We'd like to start this first set with um, a song called Baile. They've gone, they've lost their way. It speaks about losing our sort of family values as a black culture, which may have come through either domestic violence or migrant laborers or absent fathers. And my call to the song is to ask our families to come together so we can build healthy children, less traumatized children. Better homes mean better humans and a better world. Baile. Sometimes you got to exclaim, um, in my culture, there's a lot of exclamations. We say things like, yo, and ya, yeah, and hi, hi, hi. There seem to be words that mean nothing, but or scats in some way others may view, but they're usually when we have our hands on our head going, oh no, what? You know, so it's a lot of exclamating. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Pilani Boubou. Bye, les... Un morceau que l'on retrouve sur votre album Folklore Chapter One. Quel sera le prochain morceau The Next Song 
The next song is titled Kongo Tane and we're going to medley it with another song called Kamata. It's practically the same song inspired by the click song which Mir Mageba made famous. It's a traditional folk song, a Kosa folk song. So when you hear the clicks, it's actually a language, my language, called Kosa. And with this song, I wanted to bring meaning to the click song and it talks about the dung beetle being the doctor of the road. And why is the dung beetle a healer? It is actually a healer, a traditional healer it could be. And, and to to, to bring forth a kind of some ancient practice, our ancient practices and say, maybe if we looked to the past a little bit, we could figure out how to live in the modern age. And so it's a spiritual meditation amongst, um, for, for myself and for people to enjoy. And it talks about Kamata being our original God as Tosa people, pre-colonial God. And so I exclaim that Kamata is our God with a capital G. Kongo Tane, Kamata. i 
Thank you.